C.S. Lewis was one of the greatest minds that God ever gave to the church. And this conference looks from the basis of his writings at all of the aspects of life, art and beauty and education and academics and the church life and personal life. It's an amazing conference. And uh, the, the roster of the faculty here each year is really unbelievable. They come from church life, from academic life, from science, from literature, from art. It's just an amazing array, not only of the faculty, but those who show up. If you want something that will enrich your life, that will take you deeper, that will help you love God with all your mind. I don't know that I could recommend anything more highly than the Summer Institute put on by the C.S. Lewis Foundation. It's not only a beautiful place to come in the summer, but it's an incredibly enriching program, and I hope you'll do it. God bless you. I think the unique thing about this conference is that it combines together disparate elements that you don't see combined elsewhere. Uh, on the one hand, it's, it's an academic conference about, about Lewis's life and work that you might say is looking to the past and trying to preserve it. But on the other hand, it's, it's, it's full of active people who don't want to see Lewis confined in the past. They don't want to, to feel that he's a museum piece in a, in a museum university. This is a living, working university, and it's looking towards the future. So that's a great combination. And then it combines academic discourse and worship. So it's both a life of the mind and a life of the spirit. And that's very rare to see those two, two things wedded and integrated. I was enormously impressed by the C.S. Lewis conference at Oxford and Cambridge. I've never encountered anything quite like it. Hundreds of people come together for serious considerations about art, music, literature, and the relationship between art and faith. The presentations are on the highest level, and people bring a kind of passion and, and seriousness about it, which is admirable in every respect. It was unique to see um, such a large group of intellectuals all together. But more than that, it was unique to me to see such a large group of really passionate Christians. The days were packed and it was so busy. We were up early and we were up late into the night and the days were full and busy and yet I feel so refreshed. I've been so challenged and but at the same time, it's just been absolutely refreshing as well, and very, and I feel encouraged. It's amazing the amount of great speakers they've had here, but I think what's more amazing is not the level of education that these speakers have, but that they're putting all of this at the throne of Christ. You really get the sense that these speakers are here because they love the Lord, and what they are sharing with you has a purpose learning about the truths of God and His Word here really makes you feel like you're doing something worthwhile and you want to take it back with you and you want to make it part of your life. You want to make it lasting. I thought it was incredible to be with so many world-class thinkers and leaders. I loved being around people from all of the different arenas of education, of government, of the arts and just seeing, in a sense, what they're thinking, what they perceive as the issues and the needs of the people in our culture today. And I'm gonna be taking back all of their ideas, synthesizing it. I'm sure I'm gonna feed on the ideas uh, that they presented for a long time. I would tell any pastor I knew, if you can find the time and you can put the funds together to make every effort possible to come to the C.S. Lewis Institute, because I truly believe this experience has the potential to change your ministry. I think it's very difficult to find an experience like this where you are exposed to truly some of the most critical and the most gifted thinkers in the community of Christ today. Well, it's an unusual conference. I, I don't think I've attended one in America quite like it. It's where people get very serious. Uh, and go in depth into the questions of our faith and the way to defend our faith. Uh, it's an interesting collection of people that come. Most of them have been influenced by C.S. Lewis, as I have. I was really converted on the power of his arguments in mere Christianity. Uh, so many of us come with that same uh, interest and that same disposition. Uh, a lot of people have doubts about their faith. And uh, we get into a meetings like this and we listen to people explaining why they believe 
Uh, we also explore the ways in which Christianity affects all of life, which was one of Lewis's passions. So I think it's a great conference. I've gotten an opportunity to be around people who are really just on fire uh, for God and really on fire for their ministry in the world. And I really think that there's some people like that you get around and you just kind of get warmed by that fire. And so for a little while it's okay. But I think being at this conference, I got a chance to actually have some of that fire spark inside me um, and actually pick some of that up and be able to take that back. This has been an amazing institute for me. My background is not academic. I didn't graduate college, and so this is my continuing education. This is a comfortable place for me to be exposed to people that I would never have a chance to hear or rub elbows with or have dinner with. And so it's really a cheap college education for me. It's a, it's a beginning point. And so in coming here, I get things I would never get anywhere else.